Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about iPhones and more specifically, I'm going to answer a question that I've been getting a lot lately. And that is how do you hide apps on your iPhone? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, why would you want to hide apps on your iPhone? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe you have a family member that's been digging through your phone being nosy, or maybe you downloaded Tinder and your significant other probably wouldn't be happy about it. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process and it's all handled here on the home screen. So there's multiple ways to hide your apps, but I'm going to show you the most popular method. Now, one thing I want to let you know is that hiding apps on your iPhone is not foolproof. The best thing you can do is put a passcode on your phone and make sure no one knows he is digging through to find your passcode. But if you think they might get access to it, usually they're not going to have access for too long. So what you want to do is try to make it as difficult as possible for them to see any hidden apps on your phone. And you can do that simply by adjusting the home screen and rearranging the apps on your iPhone. So first, what you want to do is go ahead and grab the app that you want to hide. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and hide Acrobat. And all you do is long press Acrobat until the screen starts shaking. Okay, I went ahead and long pressed it. I'm going to choose Edit Home Screen. Okay, so I went ahead and chose edit home screen now you can see the apps are kind of wobbling around that means you can drag them around so what you want to do is go ahead and drag it on top of another app and that's going to create a folder so i'm going to drag it right on top of this app right here okay now you can see that i've dropped it into the same folder so let me go back to the screen okay so i went back to the screen as you can see it's still shaking but now the acrobat is still a little bit smaller so it's more difficult to see but you can still see it so what you want to do is go inside the folder like what i'm doing here once you're here, if you still want to hide an app on your iPhone, you want to go ahead and just drag it halfway across the right side. All right, now you can see it moved over. And let me go back to my home screen now. Okay, so now I am back here on the home screen. If you're looking to hide apps on your iPhone, as you can see, the Acrobat is not appearing here. It looks as if it does not exist. But of course, if someone goes into this folder, they will see what apps you have hidden in that folder. So if you want to make it a little bit more difficult, so if you want to make it a little bit more difficult, what you want to do is go ahead and drag another app into that same folder. So I'm going to drag this app into the folder. Okay, there it goes in there now. Okay, now what I'm going to do is go inside this folder and then you can have multiple pages inside this folder. So if someone's snooping around, they're most likely going to open your folder. So what you want to do is put this particular app as far off to the right as possible but you need to have at least one app on each page. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this app over there and I'm gonna drag it over one more time there. Now what I wanna do is go ahead and drag the app that I'm trying to hide over on the other side of that one. Okay, there you go. So let me go back to the home screen. Okay, now as you can see, if you're looking to hide an app on your iPhone, if you're just swiping around, you're not gonna see it initially. And even if somebody goes into the folder, they're less likely to see it because they may swipe over and they see this app. So that's the easiest way I know how to hide apps on your iPhone. If you know an easier, more efficient way than that, be sure to leave us a comment below. Let the rest of us know. But hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.